Hello everyone, and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Today, thanks to Scuderia Prestige, I'm taking you on an exterior and interior tour and exhaust sound video of this 2021 Porsche 992911 Turbo S Cabriolet. At the time of publishing, Scuderia Prestige have this, in addition to many other high specification vehicles for sale, and all of their contact details can be found in the description of the video. As I have already done a full in-depth tour on the new base 992911, this video will provide all of the core information about this Turbo S variant, and highlight the main differences between the two. I will also make comparisons to the previous model, to highlight how the Turbo S model line is changing. Whereas Porsche's GT and RS models are suited for the track, the 911 Turbo range is Porsche's everyday supercar. Due to its often understated aesthetic, it can be underestimated, but the Turbo S range represents performance that can compete with Ferrari and Lamborghini, but with everyday usability fused into its DNA. As has been the tradition for a few years, Porsche's latest 911 has grown, but has also become more powerful. The 992 Turbo S comes in at 1,301mm high, 7mm taller than its predecessor, 1,900mm wide, 20mm wider, 4,535mm long, 28mm longer, and has an unladen weight of 1,710kg, 40kg heavier. We can now move to the car's powertrain. To view the engine, we need to lift the button for the rear panel that's found just in from the kick plate. This lifts the rear body panel and provides access to the rear storage area in addition to a limited view of the engine cooling fans and coolant and oil sumps. At the rear, we find a 3.8 litre twin turbo horizontally opposed six cylinder engine that produces 643 brake horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. This represents 71 brake horsepower and 50 newton meters more than in the previous model. All of this power is sent to all four corners, as the Turbo S is all-wheel drive, a system that can also perform a torque vectoring effect for maximum cornering ability. This output results in a 0 to 62 mph or 100 km per hour time of 2.8 seconds and a top speed of 205 mph. This is two tenths faster to 62 and the same top speed as the previous model. When finished in the rear, we need to raise the same button to lower the rear panel. Then moving down to the corners, we find this car is fitted with the optional exclusive wheel option, one of four available and all being 20 inches at the front and 21 at the rear. In from these, we find cross-drilled and ventilated carbon ceramic discus standard at each corner, 420mm at the front and 390mm at the rear. The car's stability is provided by a McPherson front axle that is accompanied by a multi-link rear axle, both with coil springs and anti-roll bars. The Porsche Active Suspension Management option brings adjustable dampers and an extra level of control as the car is stiffened and lowered by 10mm. Now we've completed the model overview, we can start the exterior tour from front to back. In comparison to the previous model, the middle intake is far more squared and has lost its central slat. Whereas the side intakes have one further slat and can rotate here to optimise aero, this can be seen in the 992-911 video here. The dual main beams are now just one, and the X pattern from the matrix beam option is much more pronounced. In 992, Porsche have taken design inspiration from the past, and built strong lines into the bonnet. As always, we find the fuel tank flap to the right hand side wheel arch. It can be opened and closed with a light press, and offers a capacity of 67 litres, with a combined MPG of 23. The side skirts are quite similar to those in the previous model, with two prominent design lines. However, the electrically adjustable wing mirrors above have a far more angular aesthetic and have lost the loop at the bottom. Continuing up, we come to the soft top roof. We will explore its operation later in the video. Now moving back, we still find a glass window in the rear of the roof. The new Porsche Active Aero system incorporates the large active rear spoiler to create a total 170 kg of downforce, a 15% increase on the previous model. Looking from behind, we find the rear brake light is still fitted underneath the wing. And below this, there is now two types of text for 911 Turbo S, with the reversing camera in the same place. As we continue down, we find there are new aero channels where the exhausts were in the previous model. These help release pressure from the rear wheel arches. The exhaust exits have been brought from the outside of the bumper in and now have an ovular aesthetic. We will hear the car later in the video. In the middle of the rather simple diffuser is a new air channel that aids engine cooling. Now we've completed the exterior tour, we can move inside. 992 comes with a standard Porsche key. When unlocked, the handles raise and require a bit of force to be used to open the doors. Once opened, we find the optional puddle lighting emitted from the bottom of the doors here. 
We will look at the interior in slightly more detail as we progress, but a full tour can be found in my 992 tour, here. This car is fitted with the Bordeaux red leather, and new mainly digital instrument cluster with a single central analog rev dial and turbo S text. Let's hear the valve controlled sports exhaust open and closed. <laughs> Back to the interior, we can start with a standard engraved kick plate. Carbon and illuminated options are also available. To the left of centre, we find the button seen earlier for the front and rear compartments. And moving up, we come to the exterior lighting controls on either side of the ignition and first man adjustable air vent. Now turning the ignition, we can get a quick view of the new mainly digital display. A full in-depth look at this can be seen in my other 992 video, as previously mentioned. Moving left, we find the sport chrono timer. The added launch control and in-gear acceleration benefits that come with it are fitted as standard here. Below this, we come to the updated and very responsive infotainment display that I also look at in far more detail in my 992 in-depth video. Here, I show the driving modes and changes that can be made to the car. In Sport Plus, the variable front spoiler is unfolded and the large rear wing can be raised and tilted to aid aero performance. These are two out of the three main active aero components that comprise the Porsche Active Aero System. Moving down from the screen, we get a brief look at the physical controls and new drive selector for the updated 8-speed PDK transmission and the buttons for the roof at the bottom. We will return to these soon. On either side, we find the optional adaptive sport seats, finishing the Bordeaux red leather. Now moving back to the central column, if we pull the retract button, the roof lowers in just 12 seconds and can be operated at speeds of up to 31 miles per hour. Despite the use of even more aluminium than before, the cabriolet still weighs approximately 70 kilograms more than the coupe. Let's now take a look at the car's storage. The front boot can be opened by using the button on the key or that on the driver's side, seen earlier. This front area offers 128 litres of capacity, but the area behind the seats offers a further 264 litres. Now looking inside the front boot, we find an indentation to the car's right, warning triangle in the middle, and to the left is the tyre repair kit behind a removable plastic cover. Once finished, we can easily close the bonnet. Then moving back to the roof, we can see the raise mechanism, which takes the same 12 seconds, and can be raised at speeds of up to 31 miles per hour. So that concludes my in-depth exterior and interior tour and exhaust sound video of this 2021 Porsche 992 911 Turbo S Cabriolet that is for sale with Scudero Prestige at the time of publishing. All of their contact details can be found in the description of the video. Please subscribe for the latest content, and until next time, thanks for watching.